Tyrell, a couple of weeks into pre-season, how's it going from a team perspective? Um, as a team perspective, I think we're all getting getting along well. I mean, it's a new team, new squad being put together. Um, we've all expected it to be hard. Obviously, first couple of weeks of pre-season, it's going to be tough. But as a team, we're getting through it. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to getting the games going. You've had a few training sessions and you've been camping last weekend. How was that? Um, yeah, I think obviously the camping was set up for a team bonding session, as in obviously getting the new players together, getting the squad together and everyone um, obviously getting well as a team. You've several new faces in the squad, up to 11 tonight with Jordan King coming on board. It's been a big overhaul for the team, but the new faces settling in well? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously as a club, hopefully the new faces coming in quick, getting the squad together and then getting the season on the go. I mean, obviously everyone that's come in and everyone that's obviously signed on has come with an ambition obviously with the CAFA and obviously Carl as well so I think things are looking good to be fair and the squad's getting the squad's being um, built nicely Ultimately you've swapped a team that finished second for one that finished 16th um, what was the decision behind that? Um, yeah I mean we had a good season last year at Kidderminster um, played a lot of games for them um, fortunately I didn't stay on there for various reasons um, and obviously I decided to come here with obviously the gaffer enticing me to come with his ambitions to obviously get promoted from this league and uh, with the players that he's brought in you can see obviously he's got the ambition to do so so it was a no-brainer for me. The six playoff places up for grabs so that top seven is presumably where the team are aiming as, as a minimum this season? Um, yeah of course I mean why not aim higher than the top six why not aim for the top two or the top one I mean anything can happen it's football so I mean Obviously, as a team, we're going to obviously look for the top spot, like everyone would. Um, it's going to be tough to do so, but I think we're up for the challenge anyway. So, yeah. I think you got seven goals last year, but that was predominantly from a wide area. Is that where you see yourself, or are you happier through the middle? Um, naturally, I'm a striker. Um, last year, I played out wide. Um, I mean, wherever the gaffer wants to play me, if it's across the front three, if I play down the middle or the right or left, I'm not going to complain, as long as I'm helping the team and I'm getting my goals to add. Um, yeah, for me, as an individual, all I've got to do is score goals. So as long as I'm doing that, I'll be happy. And on paper, he's made some exciting additions, obviously yourself included. Presumably now the focus is just getting on the pitch on Saturday and getting your sharpness over these next six games and getting ready for Southport on the 5th of August. Um, yeah, of course. I mean, uh, the main thing we're looking forward to is the games. Obviously, the training's going to be hard, but I mean, we've got a game Saturday and Tuesday. Um, Obviously, the fans as well come down and see what the new additions are like, what the team's like now, um, and obviously just so excited for the season to get going.